Hello, praise God. How are we doing and how is our evening? How is the going and how have you been all day long? We want to thank God for the gift of life. You know, many have not made us, like many have not made it through this lockdown and many have not turned it out alive. I've witnessed friends dying. We've witnessed important people that have died in this season. But who are we that we are still alive? And who are we that we are still live and kicking? Well, it's me, your host, Frank Bibleman, and welcoming you right here on the Destiny Talk Show. As I always tell you, it's the best in show on the globe. Everywhere you go, it's the Destiny Talk Show, and it's the Spirit of God that is impacting us, not just the Spirit of excitement. And we want to thank God for you that is watching us out there, and for you that is live, for you that is sharing already, for you that is inviting someone, for you that is already putting someone on the host spot. We want to thank God for you, actually. You are our number one fan, and we are also your number one fan. Not forgetting to throw big ups to the Res Life family, to everyone that is watching us right now, the Res Life teens. We love you so much, and everyone that is watching us from wherever you're watching us from, please feel free to comment below. Feel free to exchange your insights with us, and feel free to share with us. Contact us. The numbers are always highlighted. Just visit the Res Life page, Res Life Ministries, Ruboa, both on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. You will get to know more about us as Res Life, and you will get to know more about us as the Destiny Talk Show or as the Res Life Teens. So today we are having a host who is a special one, a guest, I mean, in the house, and she's a special one. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Alright. You're alright but you're tending to be so calm. Can you please give me some vibe? Hello, how are you? I'm right. How are you? I'm good. Wow, I love your shoes, first of all. Thank you. And what is the name of the shoe? Muchkano. Muchkano. Oh, let me, let me t take a look at the label. Oh, I can see. Eh, anyway, the name is so complicated to read. So, I love your hair, first of all. Thank you. Who is your designer? Myself. You yourself, you you design at yourself. Yeah. Do you only design yourself, or you also design some other people? I can design if you want. Even me, who is a man. Yeah. So you mean next Friday I should count it on you? Exactly. Wow. So next Friday I'm passing via her collection, and she'll be the one that is going to design me. So next Friday, if you see me smart, if you see me cool, or if you see me shabby, count it all on her. So. I'm Frank Bible Man, and you? Shanice Abisaj. Shanice Abisaj. Shanice, which school do you go to? Senua Girls, Anna. Wow. So have you invited your friends to watch you tonight? Yes. Wow. So all of them are watching. Yes. Can you throw some big ups to them? Hi, everyone who is watching, my friends, my family, mm. my, church fa my church members. Thank wow. you for watching. By the way, which church do you go to? First Life Church. And who is your senior pastor? Pastor Dawidi Chambade. And, and how about, does he have a wife? Yes. How about if you throw some big ups to them? Hi, hi my, my senior pastor. Thank you for watching and thank you for loving us. Wow, 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 wow. So today we have Shanice Abisaj in the house and... I have no doubts that she's going to be a blessing in your life. And I am totally sure that she's the reason as to why today the Destiny Talk Show is there. And I know that the Spirit of God has brought her purposely to bless you who is watching. So purpose to invite someone else also to watch. And that person has to be blessed as a master. So Shanice, today in the house, we are going to talk about something that is special something that is unique and something that hasn't been shared here yet and you're going to be the first to unveil it to us and that is the inner vows the inner what oh. well you can comment there below with what you understand as the inner vows as shanice is telling us her insight towards this so shanice yes. what do you understand with the term inner vows in our vows, these are the promises we make to our souls. Wow. And later on, turn into covenant. Like, you can promise yourself that I'm not going to do this. I'm going, I'm going to do this. That. Wow, 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 wow. 
He's like, in our vows, these are promises that we make to ourselves and they later turn into covenant. So, talking of an inner vow, it's something that is inside of you that you make with your heart. Actually, the way you hear it, it's an inner vow and she has explained it to us. So, an inner vow is something that you make in the inside of you in that if you're to decide something, it begins from the inside of you and later you bring it out. That's why she's like, it will later turn into a covenant. So have you ever made an inner vow to yourself? Or have you ever made a promise that later became a covenant? And that is the inner vow we are talking about. Please stay on and let Shanice go on. So Shanice, can you please give us an example of an inner vow that you've ever held to yourself? Mm, I promised myself not to trust anyone. Oh, God. Yeah. You made an inner vow not to trust anyone. anyone. And can you please tell us how did this come about? Say so that if you deliver yourself out, someone out there can also be delivered. So how did it come about? Actually, it was mm. some time back. Mm. Like my best friend. Mm. I trusted her like a lot because I used to take her as a sister to me. Mm. Then I told her something I've never told anyone. Wow. And after some time, I had it from someone else. Mm. Yet I only told her so. Mm. I was like, really? This person has disappointed me, so I'm not going to trust friends and anyone because anyone can let you down. Wow, 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 wow. So, just by your friend letting you out and spilling your secret out to your friend, like to her circle, it made you lose trust in people. Yeah, so meaning that it must have been a secret that was so, so deep. Yeah, so Shanice, do you mind if you share your, that secret with us? Well, you may not go deep into its details, but can you tap how was it? Mm, actually, I went... Mm. It was about someone, mm. yeah, and about me. So I told her. It was about someone and about you. So was it something that was in form of a relationship or? Sort of. Sort of. So this person exposed your secrets out to someone. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Shanice is a hundred percent right. We, I think, most of us, if not all of us, we've all fallen victim of this that you've ever trusted at one point someone but this person the like this person didn't keep a secret of what you to talked about and actually someone has a saying you know this Chinese that once something exceeds between two people it's no longer a secret you told someone about your love life you told someone about your inner person you told someone about your current situation and also that person had to tell someone, and this person, actually people have a way of bringing it out. And they're like, Shanice, Richie told me something. But I, she told me that I keep it as a secret, so I'm also telling it to you, and I request that let it be a secret in between me and you. You get it? Say so that she doesn't hear of it, and also someone else doesn't hear of it. And this same person she's telling is also going to tell another person and this other person will yeah, tell yeah. some other person, it will go like that, rotate, 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 until it comes back to you. So once it exceeds two people, it's no longer a secret. And, thi and these things always turn out to break people's hearts. And that is the first inner vow that actually all of us do make. Someone breaking your heart by exposing your secret out to someone else, that's already you getting done with people and getting done with trusting people. So, which other inner vow have you ever made to yourself? Actually, this is a common inner vow most of the girls we make to ourselves. Mm. Not to fall in love. Mm. Mm. Not to fall in love. Mm. Yeah, social needs. Umanyaba mm. labiba fe ngabana wevu omukisa sagala tubakomye kuunguru njagali echi intu tuchisime vuziba. It was falling in love with who? With a fellow girl, with your mom, with your dad, with your who? With the opposite sex, love we, boy. Okay, so how was it? Can, you have a full minute to explain to us 
how it went, how it started, and how it concluded, that later it led to your inner vow. Okay, Nella, this was some time back. Mm. Like, actually, it was my first time to mm. give it a, like, give a try. Yeah. So, so he was your first part. Yeah. Mm. My first boyfriend in life. Wow. So, <laughs> oh, God. Your first boyfriend in, in life. life. Okay. Mm. So um, I accepted, I became mm. the girlfriend. Mm. Yes, I loved him. Mm. But after some time, mm. I started giving it, like giving doubts about him. Mm. But I didn't take it true. Mm. Then afterwards, like himself came up and was like, I'm breaking up with you from nowhere. Mm. So I was heartbroken. Mm. So was it uh, like was it as a result of him having a relationship that was going on outside your relationship, or he just jumped onto a certain conclusion from nowhere? I think he was having someone else. Someone else. So it later led to the breakup just because his attention and his heart was taken by someone else. Non chili, cause. Mm-hmm. When uh, during that period, mm. I was like, hey, I'm no longer getting you these days. Like, your calls are less, and mm. you used to call me a lot, you know? Mm. Like, our meetings are less, and we used to meet a lot. Yeah. Then I was like, no, I'm busy, I'm busy. No, mm. I'm busy, I'm busy. So then I, I tried to find out, mm. he had someone else. I was like, then I asked him, I was like, that's my friend. Mm. So I was like, okay, it's cool. Mm. Then after one night, someone else told me that, yes, that's the person he's seeing. So oh. I was like, you know what? Then I started avoiding him. Mm. Then during like, avoiding him, himself, after like one week, he came and was like, you know what? I'm breaking up with you. Wow, 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 wow. So actually, I can't call this a nice story, but it's something that is hurting. As you know that, moment of giving out your heart to someone and later someone crushes your heart and you feel like you're worthless. Actually, this type of a situation can make you feel like the world has closed up on you. It has totally closed its doors behind you and you're left somewhere caged up and no one cares and you feel like I'll never trust anyone again. Actually, if you're a lucky person that you've ever found a person first love, first sight, then you later get married to that person, then count yourself lucky and count yourself blessed by God because you went through probably that process of being patient and you fall into the right thing. But some of us, actually I saw someone sharing a certain meme. I don't know whether you've ever found, like you've ever seen it. Someone was like, some people are lucky. First love, first cut, boom, marriage. But some of us have suffered with sons of pharaohs before Moses came to rescue. <laughs> so I don't know. I Actually, I guess me and Shaniz are falling victims to this because Shaniz's hubby won't be the first in her heart because someone else ha- occupied it first before here. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So... All of us have been at that place of trusting someone with your heart and you later find out that this person is pushing out with someone else or someone or that person and they did literally from nowhere and you felt like Kawetem. So, Shanice will take a day that he has another one. So, literally in your heart, how did you handle this? Actually, it was a hard time for me, mm. but first, I, I really got disappointed. Yeah. And asked God that, mm. really, God, if you're the one who brought me this person, mm. then treat me like, heal me so that I can forget this person. Wow. Yes. That's, an, that's, that's how I came, like, to mm. get through it. Yeah. And normally, these processes do take, a, like, they do take a long time to forget someone. So, for you, how how long did it take you to forget this person? Mm, quite a long time, like a month. A month? 
Yeah. And some people do take years. People have taken eight years, six years, four years. When one. like when you're in God, like mm. when you have God, yeah, that means you can come through it like for a short wow, time. Wow, 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 Meaning that God can heal your heart and God can give you yes. that company. Yes. So Shanice, living alone these inner vows, but still about the inner vows. Have you ever had a grudge with someone? Like has about this type of someone breaking your heart, someone breaking your trust. Have you ever found yourself in a grudge with someone, keeping a grudge towards someone because of what this person had done? Yes. Mm. And so, how how long was this grudge? Charlie, that grudge is still happening, but I'm mm. learning to forgive. Yeah. That, the grudge is still happening, but you're learning to forgive. Mm. And what, like, what was the cause of the grudge? Okay. The, that person accused me mm. of taking her things, mm. yet I didn't. And I explained to her that I didn't take your thing, mm. but she was insisting that you took it. No, you took it. Yeah. So was that person, he or she, accusing you of theft, or what was that person doing? Theft, I think. Theft, you think? Oh God! <laughs> so I can't imagine such a beautiful and a girl that looks innocent mm. being a thief. Mm. Okay. So, and what did you resort to? A grudge. So, have you taken time to overcome it? Yes, actually, that same person. I think when she found the thing, she accused mm. me of taking. Mm. Actually, she didn't even tell me that, okay, I, I saw it. Mm. But me, I myself, you can notice that, eh, mm. you have been telling me that I took your jacket. Mm. When you're not talking to me for a couple of days, but True. later on, you start saying, hi, that means you saw your jacket. Because yeah. the thing that made us not talk, mm. I think you have found it. All right, all right, all right, right. So, later, that was the negative side that an inner vow can cause. So, Shanice, first tell us, how did these inner vows, like, how did these negative inner vows affect you? Mm, actually, these inner vows, they, I think they blocked mm. some blessings, like, you know? Wow. For example, the one of not falling in love. Mm. Many people, some people come to you like when they're for real, like real, when they can, they can respect you, they can do it. But because I made a vow to myself, mm. so I end up blocking them. Wow, 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 wow. So, do you, do you know that actually an inner vow can kind of block your relationship with God? Because this inner vow, you're going to Put yourself at a place of being like, I will never trust any person again. Yet, God has given us trust as a gift. And God has given us trust as a spirit. So, Shanice, what are some of the positive things that these inner vows have taught you to do? Or what are some of the positive inner vows that you've done? Mm, like, to trust God. Wow. How did it come about? Like, there, there was a time mm. I was kind of depressed. Yeah. Then I had to talk to God. Mm. And the thing, the thing I was depressed about, mm. like, I don't know how it came, but there is a way I felt loved, loved by God. Wow. So I was like, God loves me, so I, I, have, I have to trust only God. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. So, do you have any other example of a, a positive inner vow that you've ever made? Yes. What was that? Mm. It's about trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To trust the Holy Spirit, like, wow. to guide in everything. Mm. Yeah, no matter how no matter what you're going through, you can be like, I'm only trusting the Holy Spirit. Mm. Yeah. Wow, now Shanice, you're amazing. How did you jump off from the negative uh, the, from the negative inner vows 
to like to secure this positivity later how did you do it because a certain teen out there who is watching you may love to also be advised because teens are out there and they are battling with inner vows someone is busy battling with this thing of not forgiving someone is out there sleeping on the streets because he was he or she was abandoned by the parents and this person is like you know what if god exists why did he let this happen and what if god loves me why does he let people hurt me so what would you advise people that are watching you out there to deal or how would you advise people to deal with these inner vows actually it's very simple mm trust god wow then how to forgive wow pray mhm fast mhm everything will be simple for you wow 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 so shanizi is like the best way to overcome negative inner vows is first of all praying trusting in god fasting because the more time you give to god is the more time you get the more time you give to god is the more time you get to learn of new things and that's when god gives you the gift of the holy spirit that is free and automatically the holy spirit is going to yield new fruits to you that you're going to find yourself finding is it forgive because you have the fruit of love joy peace patience kindness goodness and all of them are right into you because once you welcome god into these inner vows to be honest you're going to find yourself at a place of easiness you're going to find yourself at a place of being secure and lovable people are busy breaking up and people are busy in relationships now i'm talking to mature people teens that are 18 and above who can handle this people that are in relationship are busy not trusting people they are in love with just because they've ever been hurt what do you advise people to do this actually most people think that when you were like some people when they're in a relationship they don't trust and you mm. know that you can trust someone mm. but when you don't love that person I get it. But when you trust that person. So also that I think it can strengthen your relationship. Like trust is really a big thing. Wow. So as we are coming for conclusion. I know many of us are dealing with these negative inner vows. But don't forget that also positive inner vows are there. And the best way to overcome this inner vows is having God as a friend in your life and having God so close in your life. And once you put God in your life, everything will be at peace for you. I my I myself have ever made inner vows of trust issues, of anger, stuff like that. All of those have ever been inner vows to me. and I found myself blocking love from people that I would have loved actually these inner vows can cause you to hate someone that is innocent they can make you to not to trust someone that is worth you trust they can even make you to be the most disobedient person to be the person that is not going to be tolerated by people just because someone hurt you just because someone stole your money just because someone has ever refused to pay you just because you've ever been mistreated by people and you think that everyone is like that the best way to overcome this is by trusting god and once you trust god and bring him into your heart he will give you a forgiving spirit a quickening spirit that helps you and quickens you to forgive people to heal fast then you will find yourself crossing over to the positive in a vows Wow, Shanice, it's been nice having you tonight. Thank you. So, can I host you sometime again? Yes. Wow, 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 wow. So, which words are you leaving with people that have been watching you? Mm. I'm requesting them mm. to love God. Wow. Trust God. Wow. Yeah, and 
pray always mm. and always ask the Holy Spirit to lead you in everything. Wow, 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 wow. So Shanice, do you have a family? Yes. Do you mind sending some big ups to your family and people that are watching you out there? Probably friends and lads, stuff like that. Yes. Mm, mommy, daddy, my mm. sisters, my brothers, my friends, school men, church men. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so I want to also send some big ups to the people that have been watching us. You've been a nice audience and you're the greatest family that we have. You who watches, you who subscribes, you who likes this page and you who makes this thing viral, you make us happen and you make us be. We do love you so much and I send greetings to my family. I send greetings to the Red Life family, the Teens family, Mama Africa and everyone right at the teen set quarters. Everyone in the studio, we love you so much. I can see Richie and Melvin, Panda Lens and Jesse on the ones and twos. I love you so much. Guys in the studios, I can see it's official. Roddy, Nada, Dem Time, all of you, I love you and big up.